you want to see good people succeed and you want to see good people get reward for all they've given and I think the fact that he will be given a testimony I think oh, I couldn't be more delighted for him I think he deserves a bit of praise because he's been an unsung hero for so many years and he's been there when you need him and with no fuss with very few headlines he deserves his moment more than anybody I think at this football club and I'm delighted that he's been been acknowledged in this way. He's a young lad who was a good pro and a, a smashing boy, you know, and, uh, you know, I always knew he'd make a living in the game for sure. Whether it was difficult at West Ham, we had so many, obviously, so many good young players there and so many fantastic senior players at that time. But Stephen was a lad that you, you just knew that because of his attitude and how much he wanted to do it, he would go on and uh, make a good living in the game. I think with Perchy, he, he went in a different circle. He went down Jason Tindall's group of friends, which it'll kill me for saying it, it was quite risky really because Jason had his his wild parties and he wasn't the best of pros and Perchy got sucked into that way of life whereas I was a little bit different to that so I don't think me and Perchy really got to fully know each other once he'd separated himself from Jason. Perchy was a, was a great roommate, he probably don't know this but the only reason I chose him to be my roommate was because we got put together the first occasion and he made such a great cup of tea. Every morning without fail we'd wake up there'd be a cup of tea on the bedside table. Uh, if I wanted a bath in the evening, he'd run me a bath. Uh, if I wanted room service, it would dull down to reception and order the food. Uh, but the only thing he did do was he made me pay for it. I remember that. Uh, but in, in terms of a roommate, he was great because he was almost like my wife. He, he'd done everything for me. And I haven't told him until this day, but the only reason I stuck with him for so long was because of that. In terms, he, if it was a banter thing, I'd say I would have probably been with someone else because you know, he's got no banter at all. He's such a brilliant human. He's so good at everything. He's a bit annoying actually. He's always so well turned out. He's always neat and tidy. He's, you know, he's just impeccable at everything he does. Technically sound on the pitch. Um, yeah, he's just, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a great guy. And I'm, I'm so pleased that I got to call him not only a, a teammate, but also a good friend now as well. No one deserves it more really, he's like everyone knows that Perch is just the best guy ever really. Um, I've always stayed in touch with him, um, got so much time and respect for him, he's done. he's been, been there for me through some difficult times and um, he deserves this this night, no, no doubt about that. I personally think he's a great player so you know, I'd, I'd love to see him back on the pitch, he scored some great goals last, last season. Um, maybe deflections but I'm, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But, but personally, to me, as a, as a friend and, and as a teammate, he's been there for me, knowing. Perch is one of the nicest men in football. Is I've not, I can't say enough good words about him. Really, I had him as a roomie. Um, he used to run my bath. He used to give my feet a rub before the game. So yeah, he's a, he's a top guy. The night he broke his leg, I was in the hospital with him and uh, sleeping in that chair. My back was in bits, and I. I know you broke your leg, but you could have uh, swapped and gone in the chair and just let me off that bed for at least half an hour. But no, it's, uh, that's all I really got. But yeah, top man. Uh, wish him all the best. Getting back on the pitch and uh, next season, off, it's a uh, good one for him. I remember Stephen here as a young player, um, diligent, hard working, um, manager's coach's dream, really. And I don't want to embarrass him, but you know he got on with it and did what he was had to do and, and did it to the best of his abilities and, and no, no, no more hard working player than Stephen. Hi Perchy, all the best mate, have a great year, you deserve it, um, hope the testimonial goes well. Good luck Perchy, hope it all goes well and well deserved mate. Perchy, it's Rio, um, as you can see, um, good luck on your testimonial, hope you raise loads of money for yourself and your family and, um, and rewarded in the right way, you've been a loyal campaigner.
um, played many years and you deserve it mate. Hard working, always there, always training from when I remember as a kid and from what I hear uh, in your career so good luck to you and you deserve it mate, good luck. I think he's been a fantastic servant on and off the pitch, um, he's done some good um, things off the pitch as well, um, he had a, I don't know if you know but lately he went to um, um, Merrick Park to do a, an appearance, player appearance and I think they chose Stephen out of all the players because they knew he'd be the most um, fitting for this job and um, basically he got to go around and find sex camps in and around Merrick Park and um, I think they thought he's obviously got a keen eye and he probably wouldn't spend too long looking for them so um, he did find them quite easily apparently, I don't know why um, he may have, may have, you know, he said he recognised a few things in there. I don't know, I think he might have left his socks in there or something he found in there, I'm not, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, obviously, right man for the job. Top class player, top class club, and I hope it's a real top class testimonial, yeah. Great pro, great lad, and uh, as I said, the testimonial is thoroughly deserved. Uh, he's probably one of the nicest men I've met uh, within football and, and outside of football. Uh, I remember the time when I first came in and he sort of welcomed me in and, and gave me good bits of advice when I first signed. He was great to me, he always has been and uh, I've always remembered that and he's, um, he's top man. And it was a pleasure to play with him, you know? it's just a, just a shame that he got the injury at the time that he did because he was getting a good run in the team. Um, but he's bouncing back stronger than ever and it's good to see him out there on the training ground. Fantastic for him and um, you know it's, it's fully deserved as well because you know, he's a great servant to the club you know, on and off the pitch. He's Mr. Consistent. I call him Mr. 7 out of 10 consistently every week. You do get an 8 or a 9, don't get me wrong, Perchie, but he's, you, know, you know what you're going to get with Perchie. He's a credit to He's a clean cut, proper, nice person, good pro, good lad, just not a minute's problem, just, you know, deserves, deserves all he gets and uh, hopefully he'll have a great testimonial. I just wanted to take this opportunity to say how proud um, I am, Ben and Harry, and all your family are that you've been granted this testimonial. Um, everything everybody says about you is all true. You're a, a top man, you're a real professional, um, and we all love you to bits. Um, so I really, really hope you enjoy this night and all the other events that's coming up in your testimonial.